character in Swan Lake is Siegfried. He's a prince. He's someone who's uh, trying to find himself. When he sees Odette, uh, he's completely shocked. I guess he's surprised to have a, that sensation inside the first time you see someone who catches your eye and makes you feel that time stops. It's a love story, of course. The idea of a woman that turns into a swan, I mean, it's very unusual. Я не представляю её каким-то, вы знаете, таким величественным лебедем. Я больше её представляю очень хрупкой, ранимой, как цветок, который распустился, который хочется охранять. Она как бы очень хочет поверить принцу, должен, в принципе, спасти от заклятия. Очень хочет, но не может. The role of Odette Odile is extremely challenging, physically and emotionally. Natalia is a very theatrical creature, you know, she's very in the moment, so everything is spontaneous, nothing's calculated. Of course, she's extremely physically powerful. And Matthew, being the size that he is, is also extremely powerful, so as a, as a physical dancer, he can match that, which is why as a partnership they go well together. When he comes to his solo, it's huge, it's masculine, it's powerful. They fire off each other rather nicely. Ну, мы действительно с Мэтью не танцевали «Лебединое озеро». Мы вообще только начали танцевать вместе. Наш творческий путь вместе только начался. Сейчас важна репетиция. Вы знаете, как бы для меня это... Как бы он потрясающий, прекрасный танцовщик. Мне очень хочется понять его душу. Chemistry is vital, vital, really. It's very much like a marriage. It's just got to be something simmering underneath the surface that lets us know there's a feeling between them. Natalia, she's one of a kind. We look forward to showing our, our partnership on stage. Swan Lake really is the ballet, the ballet that everybody knows. People will conjure up in their mind the image of all those swans. They build that atmosphere. When you see them come in together, like you would see if you were seeing a, a group of swans up in the air. In Swan Lake, the corps de ballet are so essential to it. But if they're not living the story, breathing with the music, the same as the principal dancers, then it won't work. I'm actually at the front of the corps de ballet of swans. I feel really proud that I'm leading my line, and I like to be really clear for the 12 girls behind me on my side, which is stage left. You're standing at the sidelines after you've done your dance, and that is definitely the hardest moment throughout the act, are the stands and just those kind of peaceful moments as you're watching the ballet. But for us, our muscles are, you know, they're screaming to move. That is when you start to sweat. It's dripping off your brow into your eye <laughs> and stinging. You just have to blink and still hold your gaze and not let it affect you. They are all special and unique. Even though they're trying to dance together as swans, they're all um, incredible dancers. It's the mark of a good dancer if you can be a very good corps de ballet dancer. If everything goes well for them, they might not be in the corps de ballet for that many years, but it's very important that they understand that this is a way of learning your trade and, and how to perform on stage. I made my debut a couple of weeks ago as a signet. It was like a big moment, I think, of being in the Royal Ballet because it's such an iconic dance. I think it's one of those things, if you think about it too much, you'll, you'll probably panic that you're on the wrong leg because you really have to trust yourself that it's just in your body and that your feet are moving without you knowing they are. I think most girls obviously dream to be Odette and Odile. You know, it takes a lot of work and a lot of years of experience to even be able to get to the stamina and the performance level. But I'm sure it's worth being patient for. <laughs> Ты все балерины стремятся его танцевать всю жизнь, потому что он очень интересен как с точки зрения техники, так и с точки зрения игры, как актерской. 